The fetus is now the size of a mango. Okay, let's actually do a pregnancy update. I have not done one of these formally. I'm currently in my second trimester. I'm actually at 19 weeks, four days. So I'm very close to roll over into 20 weeks, which is exciting. According to my app, this is roughly what the child looks like. I did get my 20 week scan done, so that's very exciting. They did the whole anatomy scan. We're not gender reveal people, but we did find out the gender. Here's a little picture of the babies. Ain't he cute? That's right. I said he, having another boy, I'm gonna be a bona fide boy mom. So that doesn't suck, because that was kind of what I was hoping for. We all have preferences. I forgot to turn my alarm off. So as far as symptoms go, I haven't had that many. Um, my eating's still kind of all over the place. Um, I haven't had any like major cravings for anything other than lemonade. I can't complain really, not very weird. Sleeping has been hell I'm in between things being comfortable. So like using my pregnancy pillow, not comfortable yet. Um, not using my pregnancy pillow, very much uncomfortable. So I, I don't, I don't know how to sleep. Heartburn has actually been really good this time. It was horrible last time. I think I, at this point in my pregnancy last time, I had gone through about, oh fuck, I don't know, like five things of Tums. But I've actually only take, taken maybe four Tums in the last month, so cheers to that. So the exhaustion is real, mostly because I feel like I never have a day off between working and toddler momming. Such is life. And I constantly have to pee, which is only going to get worse over the next couple weeks to months, so I'm, I'm accepting it. Let's have a look at the bump. Whoop. There we are. This is my 19 to 20 week bump. Hello. There is a baby in there. I can feel baby moving like a lot. It's not frequent, but when I do feel a baby move, which is at least two to three times a day, I'll get like a good 20 minute, half hour period where like dudes just going fucking nuts in there which is amazing and I love being able to be reassured without having to resort to the Doppler. I have an appointment with my GP on the 13th of July which is coincidentally the day after I get my second COVID vaccine so that's gonna fucking suck. COVID vaccine is on the 12th and my doctor's appointment with my GP is on the 13th. And then I have my first OB appointment at 24 weeks. So we will be discussing how I will be giving birth, which uh, if you've been around a while, uh, you'll already know is going to be a C-section. And if you don't know, it's gonna be a C-section. <laughs> but I'll have to update you guys after that appointment because I, I don't know what the intake appointment's gonna be like. Last pregnancy, I did see my OB much, much earlier because I was a high-risk pregnancy. This time I'm not. Uh, nobody seems to really be worried about anything. So I'm doing all the stuff on the normal timelines. Also coming up in the next two months, I will be starting my maternity leave. I do understand that uh, according to my analytics, if they are correct, the majority of you are from the states. Let me know down below if that is in fact you because I find it really varies from video to video, but I see you guys. I see you, American subscribers. Yeah, I'm not due until November and I'm starting my mat leave as of August 30th. I do plan on doing a video explaining how the whole mat parental leave thing works for me because uh, I did a TikTok about it maybe, I can't even remember, I don't even follow my own social media <laughs> a little while ago and I had so many questions so I decided I'm just going to probably make a vlog out of it, I don't know, or we'll just do a sit down, it depends. So if you have any questions regarding that, um, even if you're not in the states, if you're just in another like province or something and you, it sounds like it works differently just let me know down in the comments and I will make sure to mention it in that video it's gonna be a super quick update I really don't have that much I'm doing good seems like baby's doing good I mean I'm stressed to fucking hell I think I have had multiple nervous breakdowns and anxiety attacks in the last month which is a contributing factor to me taking an early maternity leave I leave any questions you have down below um, if you're pregnant right now how's your pregnancy going baby how you doing girl I'm very tired. It's been a very long 
two years. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Let's chat in the comments.